Hey guys, what I wanted to do for my video was to show you some functionality that Adobe put into Dreamweaver CS3 that's pretty cool and I think it can help us out with our online evaluations and quizzes. So let's take a look. So here we have Dreamweaver CS3 open and it's just a blank HTML page that is open right now. It's been open and saved. And you can see up in the toolbar there is a new tab for Spry, Spry functionality. And Spry basically has three groups of little widgets that you can drop into an HTML page. Uh, the leftmost grouping is of content display uh, functionality. Uh, we won't be looking at that. The middle part is all form validation functionality, which we will also not be looking at. On the right hand side is a group of widgets that are used to create navigation and content buckets. Um, these are things like tabs and um, little boxes that can open and close dynamically. Really cool visual functionality that uh, Spry lets you do. And for our purposes, we will be inserting a accordion. Now an accordion are panels that open and close when you click on them. Uh, and you can see just by clicking on the accordion button, a two panel accordion is inserted on the page. Um, but let's save this and look at it actually live to give you a better idea of what it looks like. And when you save it, you, it basically also asks you if you want to save the special files that are required to get this to work. So we did. And let's preview it in a browser. And so you can see this new page in a browser um, that has two panels. And these two panels will open and close when you click on them. Really cool stuff. And what I've used these for are to create multiple choice or multi choice questions. So to do that, I first enter in the question in the default open panel that that's default open on load of the web page. And so I type in question and what the question is, what is my favorite color? And then the rest of the panels I use to show the answers. And when you click on an answer, it will open that panel and let you know if you're correct or not. So for this first panel, answer is red. And then this eye icon in the lower right side opens up the panel that uh, is associated with that header. So I will type in that the answer is incorrect. I will also add a couple more panels so I can have more answers to this question. And so here is an answer yellow, which is incorrect. And you see it's the eye icon, which opens up the panel. And type an answer green, which is correct. So there, I now have a multiple choice question that I can use in a quiz. Now let's take a look at it live. So here's the question, and you can choose an answer, and another answer, or another answer. So this is a great tool for you to be able to use. Thanks.